No one's really exactly sure why that stretch of 15th Street between Utica and Peoria is called Cherry Street. We've heard a few competing theories, but one thing we do know for sure is it's a busy area. It boasts several successful restaurants, and those generate a lot of jobs, as well as tax income for the city. A road project kicked off on Cherry Street this week, and business owners are worrying about customers avoiding the area for fear of traffic snarls. KRMG goes in-depth. Here's KRMG's Russell Mills. Michael Bausch owns three restaurants in the area, including Andalini's, STG Gelateria, and Prossimo Ristorante. He's also president of the Cherry Street Business Owners Association, so he called me to discuss the road work along Cherry Street, which began yesterday. We've planned for the last 18 months for this, and it's not a typical remodel makeover in the sense that classically you'll have three lanes going down to two or one lane. So you lose lanes. Cherry Street's not losing any lanes. It's going to lose street parking, which from a perception issue seems like it's going to have no parking, but there's actually very little parking genuinely on the street. And when all's said and done, they'll have more street parking, he says, because they'll be back in spaces rather than parallel parking. And not only are they working on the street and on the parking situation, but they're sprucing the place up as well. Part of that uh, revitalization is Cherry Street branded bike racks along with Cherry Street signs and lighted crosswalks. For anyone who's ever felt like it was unsafe to walk across Cherry Street, that's going to be alleviated by this project as well. There's a good reason the city's giving Cherry Street some love. There is just a condensed load of business happening there and Around 60 of the 85 businesses on the street are directly Tulsa-owned. And obviously, all those tax dollars go back to Tulsa as well. Bausch tells me the city's own figures indicate more locally owned businesses and more tax revenue per square foot than in any other part of town. So he says it's important that the public not shy away from that area over the next several months. Yes, you will visually see orange coats, but that means that hundreds of people still get tips still get their job, and that people don't have to lay people off on the street. I certainly have no intention of doing that. But other businesses, when they get hit hard and the perception gets out there, and if news is putting out there, hey, stay away from Cherry Street, there's construction, then it's a very bad scenario built on misinformation. The message from Michael and his fellow business owners? A lot of effort and a lot of time has been spent to make sure, I believe, more than really the city's ever done on a, on a, on a low-scale refurbishment they put a lot of effort into it and again cherry street's open for business we know what we're doing and we want you to be there tulsa the project which also includes replacing old utilities under the roadway is expected to last between six and nine months russell mills 1023 krmg tulsa's news and talk russell thanks uh, we did get another open mic from the